Namaste and welcome to class and in today's class we're going to talk about love and concepts of love. We don't realize that our way of loving have different types of attachments and depending on what is the nature of our love because we sectorize love we have the love for the child the love for nature the love for ourselves the love for the spouse the love for a friend and we do feel different in each of those relationships this different re feelings or moods that we have are just simply reflecting the great crystal of the self inside the heart that vibrates the truth universal love of the source which it do not discriminate or sectorize in roles of course but the self is there mirroring or if you can if you can imagine that the light of the source go through the crystal and then it's like a prism that have the different colors but it comes a time in the path of the seeker that the press coloring have to become again the one white light or gold light or whatever light it is the light of love and the crystal itself is a great transformational place where the seeker need to reflect on how do you love and the type of concept that you are imposing on the love. In the conceptualization, you do have a position. For example, if I am loving a child, I will have different positions inside myself to please the child, to make the child happy, to educate the child, to nourish the child, to discipline the child. They are all aspects of love. Same thing when you are in partnership. You do have a concept of love that maintains the relationship to a certain point but at one point that partner relationship is impeding the flow of universal love to be deposited in the crystal in the self in the heart most of conceptualizations are about a type of behavior or flavor of love or a type of mood that you need to have in order to keep the relationship or in order to feel that you cannot exist beyond the other. It is when the other disappears and it turns into the universal frequency that you really allow the flow of love come through you and animate the cellular system into a complete different state of perception. So we must be aware of how do you love, the concept of love that you have and the value that you give. Because in conceptualization and in values you want to protect and in that protection you feel that if you don't do it you will be unsafe unsafe to yourself 
and safe to love and safe to receive love. So, if you are in a relationship, check. How often are you in agreement with the limitations of the other person, for example? If the other person has certain mental perceptions that limit itself and you try to accommodate, you try to go along with it, that limitation becomes yours because you are vibrating at the same level of the limitation, to keep the limitation, to hold on the limitation. In that regard, then it comes the value. When you think that if you are not in agreement with those limitations, if you don't have the compassion, understanding, you are going to be bad or that you're going to do something that is inappropriate or that you're going to lose something. And then that subtle guilt starts to become a, a, a cluster between the universal love and the earth love. Isn't that when you are not helping earth because you are blocking the universal love to penetrate in your body, in your earth, in your system. So you can be doing earth work, but if you are not letting go of the conceptualizations of the earth loving relationships that you have, and it you work. Huh? then you are not being supple enough to allow the universal love to come through you into your elements, into your cells, and finally into your core, into yourself. So if you're in a state where you're secure in yourself, when you are um, Feel that you have conquered a lot of detachment. This is definitely a detachment about the concept of love. And this applies as well to the other two trinities, the concept of life and the concept of wisdom. The conceptualization is just promoting more attachments, more values, more uh, impediments. So you need to refrain and observe what is the concept of love that you have. Maybe some things that can help you. What do you do for others? What is your role in front of the others? Do you feel that by giving upliftment, presence, commitment, guidance, is a way of loving them? So you are taking territory for the other guidance and inner wisdom to come through. You are transpassing with the conceptualization. Another way that you can look at it is what is it you are expecting from the other? What is the concept of receptivity you have? And in that agreement, you should be taking note, what is the agreement? that you have and if I give you this guidance, loving, nourishment, support, understanding, presence, I should receive what? Not necessarily a thing, but it could be I need to receive that you are there for me. 
that you exist as another. And that concept that love exists in polarities, you get stuck in the second dimension. Yes, you are interacting, but you are not passing through the gate of the one that is undiscriminating and go beyond the two. That doesn't mean that you need to be alone. It's the opposite. By you detaching, you're entering into the cellular, ether, infinite information of the body of the one where you are part of the universe itself and the universe can communicate through you is wisdom, love and life. So it's a little passage in the, in the love and I say this because, as I mentioned before, now in the planet, the feminine aspect is rising. And the feminine naturally have been taught to avoid conflict by accepting things, by putting, but not having a proper voice. The feminine have been trained to accept the limitations of the psyche, of the children, of communities, of religion, of the man, of mother and fathers. But this is not anymore in the projection of the new earth. We need to embody the pure love beyond the two beyond the compromising of the limitations of others. And here comes your second homework. What is the observations that you do regarding the other limitations and what the other is limited and in what is it you want to help? If you want to help in this way, with that conceptualization, to be good, etc., you are filtering that limitation into your heart, into your system. It's the law. And whatever you harmonize, it becomes part of you. So with what are you harmonizing? With the universal love? which you don't know, which is threatening, which is unknown, which you don't understand. Or you are harmonizing with your own conceptualization. I don't want to say about a person itself, but your own concept of how it is to be loving, nourishing, supporting, and compassionate. All individuals in the planet need to review the concept of love, to move from the sentimental, from the distorted passions and swims. The emotion of love is wanting to be in harmony and coherence, and for that you need to be with no values. Your third homework is what happened to you if you meet a situation or a person and you consciously are not catalogizing that person, meaning you are not saying this person is in this state, this person can give me this, this person you have an opinion of some sort. What if you don't have any of that? It's not that you are devaluing yourself by not giving yourself an opinion about others, but you're cracking a little bit 
the truth about love, which is in complete neutrality about the other. It doesn't want to save, it doesn't want to help, it doesn't want to modify anything. They just want simply observing with certain amount of detachment so it can impact directly the universal love through you rather than filtering through your opinions, through your concepts and through your values. Hopefully this is helpful in your path of love. It's not about singing the devotion of love, which is good too, but if you have any concept about the love of God, the love of the universe, and how you are managing that, how you are internalizing that, that is the key for the love of the source to come into matter. Thank you so much for sitting with me, and I will see you in our next lesson. Namaste.